All right, so this uh, starts chapter 11, um, which is on conic sections, and probably um, you might be a little bit familiar with the, the basics, like what a parabola is, or what an ellipse is, maybe what a hyperbola is, um, but probably you've not really seen this in too much detail, so a lot of this stuff will be new, um, maybe some of the terminology will be new. Um, and so this will take a little bit of practice um but it's nothing there's not there's not really any hard math um we're not we're not doing any complex calculations here it's mostly it's for the most part basic arithmetic that we're working with um but it is something that you need to get familiar with as far as the terminology goes and that kind of thing um so we're starting with parabolas and of course you are familiar with parabolas any algebra class um, covers these. And so this parabola that we're talking about is the same parabola that you have been familiar with. Although we are going to also talk about, so we have the, the normal parabola, the vertical parabola that you see here that you're familiar with. We're also gonna look at the horizontal where we're gonna open up to the side. Um, but same rules apply, but we're gonna, we're gonna do different things with these. Um, instead of simply finding the vertex or the axis of symmetry or uh, the zeros that kind of thing that we're used to doing we're gonna we're gonna look at some other things um so th the definition of a parabola which you may have never seen before uh, it's the set of all points in the plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix and the focus it was always in the parabola, so in in the in the bowl, I guess you could say, and then the directrix is an equal distance. So we have the vertex here. The vertex, of course, is the either the minimum or the maximum. It's the point where the parabola changes direction, and the focus and the directrix are are equidistant from the vertex, but they're also equidistant from any point on. The line so of course the vertex is on the line so of course they are going to be equidistant um, from that point but they're also equidistant from any other point so as you can see uh, if you go if you go from this point to the focus and then from this point to the directrix that distance would be the same Okay, so, um, and that's kind of the idea with the parabola is the equidistant points from the, the focus and the directrix. So, um, let's talk about some of the math part of this. Um, the graph, now we're going to write these equations a little bit different. And in this section, um, I think in a later section, we're going to get to where we kind of shift these around a little bit. Uh, but... For now, in this section, all of these are going to be centered, or the, the vertex uh, will be at the origin. And so we don't really have to worry too much about um, the shifts and all that. That makes math a little bit easier while we're introducing these. But the vertex will always be at the center. And so that makes the equation of the graph of the parabola a little bit uh, easier. Um, so we'll always have this form here where we have uh, x squared equals 4py. And we'll talk about what the p is. Um, so, of course, the vertex here is going to be 0, 0. And uh, the focus, since since we're always going to be uh, have the vertex at the origin, the focus will always be 0, p. And, of course, when we, when we talk about these are these are vertical. So once we talk about horizontal, they will change. They'll basically switch things around a little bit. Um, the direct tricks so we can see the the focus is a zero p the directrix is this line that will be under the parabola or over the parabola if it opens down and this will be y equals negative p and so p is greater than zero it opens up if p is less than zero it opens down and of course you can see that um remember from when we, when we talked about parabolas uh ax squared plus bx plus c. Of course, that part's not here because we're centered at the vertex, or the, ver the vertex is at the origin, I should say. And when we introduced these in an earlier chapter, if a was positive, 
it opened up. If A was negative, it opened down. So uh, this 4P is essentially 1 over A, I guess, because if you divide it, if you solve this one for, for Y, the 4P would be over here. Um, 4, of course, is positive. So if P is positive, then that would be positive, or A would be positive. So um, kind of the same. These are related. Um, so let's uh, let's look at an example here. Um, and the other thing, notice notice we we're not writing these as y equals. We're writing these as x squared equals. And um, so that's that's an important thing because some of the uh, at least I kind of remember when I was learning these. Um, it's it's uh, you're not used to working with an x squared equals. You're used to working with a y equals. So that that takes a little bit of getting used to. Nothing too complicated, but it does take a little bit of getting used to. All right, so um, find the equation for the parabola with vertex v at the origin, and then focus uh, 0, 2, and sketch the graph. So um, the focus is 0p. So that tells us that p equals 2. So um, if we want to find the equation, this also tells us that it is opening up. So um, if the focus is there, then the, the graph is going to look like that. We'll be a little bit more precise in a minute. Um, but it helps to kind of get this preliminary sketch. And so the P is 2. We know that X squared equals 4PY. So this tells us that X squared equals 4 times 2Y or 8Y. Um, if P is to the directrix, which is the line underneath the parabola in this case, is y equals negative p or y equals negative 2. And of course, that would make sense. We'll put the directrix down there in a minute. Um, and so really, that's it. The only other thing we need is um, to get another point to graph. So we know the vertex is at the origin. Whenever you graph these on WebAssign, you put the vertex at the origin, and then uh, you apply have to plot another point. And so you got to be a little bit careful because you need, obviously, you can't um, plot a square root on, on WebAssign. Um, so you need kind of, you need to find a point that is easy to use. Um, so we can put the uh, focus, whoops, let's uh, get rid of that. The focus is going to be there at 2. And then the directrix is the line y equals negative 2, which is the horizontal line there. And then let's just find another point. Uh, you could probably pick a y, well, pick a y here that will make that will make a perfect square. And then you can take the square root to figure out what the x is. So um, 2 would work. So if y is 2 then we get x squared is 16, which means x is plus or minus 4. So y is 2, and we can come out here to 4. We can go out this way to negative 4, and then we have our parabola. And so that's how you would do that in WebAssign. Um, you only need one of these points. So either, either one of these would work. Um, you just need the vertex and then another point in WebAssign. But but that's what we're doing. So um, nothing too complex here. As long as you remember the, the focus is 0 comma p, and then the directrix is y equals negative p. So um, nothing, nothing too complex here. And so let's look at another one. Um, Find the focus and the directrix. And so now we have the uh, equation, y equals negative x squared. Um, and so let's get this. So we're, we, we want to work with this as x squared equals. So we're going to divide by the negative and we get x squared equals negative y. And we know that x squared equals 4py. So this tells us that 4p equals negative 1, which means that p is negative 1 fourth. And then the focus, of course, is going to be 0p, which would be 0, negative 1 fourth. And then the directrix is y equals negative p, 
which means we have y equals one fourth. And so we get at least the basics of this. Um, focus, negative one fourth, vertex at the origin, and then we have the directrix at uh, y equals one fourth. So stretch it up a little bit just for clarity here. And so then let's find another point. So we have um, y equals negative x squared. So um, one works, you pick one for the extra point. So then we have one, 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 and one, or negative, sorry, one, negative one, negative one, negative one. So just find a point that will work um, conveniently. And there you go. So um, so that's the idea. We'll look at a, at a horizontal parabolas in the next video.